Hi, I'm Miss Adrian with Harris District Library, and I would like to share with you a little overview of some of the amazing things that are happening here at the library this summer and out in our community that we are helping to create. So there are things that I'll talk about for all ages. Some things are perfect for everybody, like our summer reading challenge, of course. And then I'll get into some more age-specific things. So we do have things for the itty-bitty babies. And we have things for the super-duper old people as well. And of course, everything in between. So we hope that you will find something that is perfect for you. And we are doing all of this for you so that you can be involved and of course as always we make these programs and events free 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 so if you're looking for some ways to celebrate this summer you are invited to join us at Herrick District Library we are celebrating our 25th anniversary or our 25th birthday being a district library so Lots of celebratory events are on our schedule. You will find these program flyers with all the events listed out uh, at either library location or you can find them online or you may even have some being sent to your school for you. So if you're watching this at a school, uh, you may see these coming very, very soon. So I'll give you a little overview of what you can expect from Herrick District Library this summer. We hope that you will join us in celebrating all the things this summer with Herrick District Library. We are celebrating our 25th anniversary, or you could call it our birthday our 25th birthday of being a district library. And to do that, uh, we have our summer reading challenge and it highlights all the different special ways that we like to celebrate. So when we have our summer reading challenge, we like to make it very, very fun with lots and lots of options that everyone will be able to enjoy. So this challenge is the same for little ones all the way up through grown-ups and everybody in between. In this challenge, you are invited to read, of course, and to engage in different ways of celebrating. So you can't go wrong, really. All the greatest things all combined here. So to earn your special summer reading prize at the end of the summer, this goes from June 1st to August 15th. So if you do a certain amount of challenges, earn a certain amount of check marks on your list, then when you come back to the library at the end of the summer, you get to pick out a brand new book of your choice and you will get a special celebrate bookmark just for completing this challenge. So we hope that you will join us. Here are a few things that you can do to earn that special book prize. So to celebrate Holland, because this is our, our own wonderful community, you could get a check mark by visiting a special restaurant in the area that you like, or maybe you go to a special program or event, something you're really interested in that you can only find in the Holland area. Maybe you go and visit somewhere that you've never been in Holland and discover a new special place. And then you can get another check mark if you decide you want to celebrate Herrick. So maybe you come to an event at the library, uh, or you could ask a staff member to give you a recommendation, tell you their favorite book, or a book they think you would really like, or maybe a special TV show that they think you might really enjoy. 
You could uh, visit the library, join us in one of our special places in the children's area, or just at the library in general. Find a special reading nook at the library and cuddle up in there. You can also celebrate by being with your friends and family. So one way that you can celebrate friends and family is maybe you write a special letter to someone. You could have a photo shoot with friends uh, or with family. You could play a new game. We have uh, some games at each library location. There are even some game nights throughout the summer that you can join us for. And of course, you can earn a check mark on your summer reading challenge with the help of some food or drinks. So if you have a special food, you can maybe try and make a food, uh, follow a recipe with your family, go out to eat in a special place. Maybe you make a dish uh, that you grew yourself. So maybe you had a garden this year from our seed library that you grew and, and nurtured, and then you were able to make something special out of it. You could also celebrate by being out in nature. We love being outside. So you can earn one of those special check marks if you maybe look for a little free library while you're outside or out for a walk. You could take a story walk at one of our local uh, county parks. You could read a book outside, maybe find a hammock or go to the beach. You could identify different animals or the different types of plants in your yard. Maybe just take a, a quiet walk. So that's another way that you can earn one of those check marks on your summer reading challenge. There are two more categories that I want to talk about. And then, of course, we'll talk about the reading part. Stories are another part of celebrating. Whenever I have a celebration with a bunch of people, there's usually lots of stories that come out. We talk about memories. So maybe you start a journal or you could submit one of your own stories to our short story contest at the library. Maybe you want to reread an old favorite story and that could be the way that you earn your check mark. You can also celebrate. Well, you should always celebrate with music, right? There's always music at good parties and celebrations. So you can maybe make a special summer playlist and use that as your check mark. You could go to a music event or watch some of the street performers in Holland. Maybe you do some car karaoke with your friends or family, and that could count as well. And of course, I mentioned books. You can do this whole thing just by reading books, or you can do part of it by reading books. So on the paper charts, there is a spot for you to keep track of all of the books you read this summer, or you can use our Beanstack app and keep track of all the books that you read and that will help you earn your Summer Reading Challenge prize as well. And it's nice because that Beanstack app, you can continue using it throughout the year, uh, even beyond this summer. So if you're the type of person who likes to keep track of what you read so you can talk about all the great books that you've read with your friends, then Beanstack as an app might be a really good tool for you. So we hope you will join us for our summer reading challenge this year and celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. For a couple weeks in May and the first part of June, so May 9th through 13th and then the 31st through June 6th, we are transforming our teen area at the upstairs part of the library downtown. And it's going to turn into a study cafe. So if you need a quiet, chill place to work and think 
and find some stress management tools, you are invited to join us. So bring a friend or not if your friend is going to distract you. Uh, but you can join us here. We'll have some hot beverages. Don't spill them. Uh, there will be some nice cafe music playing in the background and a few special stress reducing activities for you. Our short story contest is back this summer. So every year we've been doing this special short story contest and there are different categories. So if you are ages five to seven, that's one category you would be judged together. Eight to 10 is another, 11 to 13, and then 14 to 18. So anyone in those age groups is welcome to participate. The way you'll find out how and how to get your story to us, that's all online. And, or you can drop into either library, the big library downtown or the one on the north side of town. And we can give you extra information there on how to participate. But one really, really special thing about this is that all of the entries, any of the stories that are submitted will be put together into a book and that book will then be put into our library and people can check it out, bring it home, read it. It'll be available at both library locations. You can come to the library and see some of the past year's uh, books that have been put together and see what that's all about. There's also a really special celebration for everyone who participates. So whether you win or not, we still want to celebrate you. Uh, and if you've been working on a story or maybe you you started a story this past school year that really excited you. Maybe you can build on that and submit it. And we would love to see your hard work this summer. The North Branch is going to be celebrating Herrick's 25th anniversary with a special community art project. So this is for all ages to be involved in. And we're asking everyone starting June 6th, all the way up through the end of June, to add a piece of art that they created to a larger piece that we will put on display at the North Branch Library in July. So you can stop into the North Branch and it's based on the book Dreamers by Yuli Morales, beautiful book that celebrates wonderful things like libraries and communities. So we're inviting you to add your own special piece of art. We'll have all the materials you'll need. And if you stop into the library and create one of those pieces, we will take your piece and add it to a larger, beautiful display. And we can celebrate our special community together. If you're a very curious person and you like learning new things, you should join us for Dr. Math as they present Harnessing the Power of Infinity in Three Mysterious Numbers. What are those numbers? I'm not going to tell you. You have to come to find out. This is great for kiddos who are ages 10 and up. Uh, that's the main interest level of this program, but this will reveal the beauty and all of the usefulness in these three mysterious numbers. So there are two dates this is happening, July 6th and July 9th. So you have options to join us for Harnessing the Power of Infinity. We've been talking about celebrating Herrick District Library's 25th anniversary, and we hope that you will join us for Herrick's 25th birthday bash. And that will be at the North Branch. So bring your family, there will be music and treats. It's a birthday party. So, you know, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So this is on Saturday, August 6th at the North Branch. There is a robot adventure at the main library on August 
9th. And at this robot adventure, you can see robots that are designed by students right around here in the Holland area. So you'll be able to watch them do some crazy fun challenges. And of course, you can make your own little cute robot that you'll be able to uh, play with and learn about. So this is a partnership with the local high school team robotics group. So please join us and learn a little bit more about robots. If you would like to learn how to make your own cloud light that you can use in your bedroom, use as decoration, you can sign up in advance. We need that just to make sure we have enough supplies for everybody because these are really cool, but they do take some special materials. So on Monday, June 27th, you can join us at the main library. This is for people between the ages of 11 and 18. And then at the North Branch on June 29th, that one is for people between the ages of nine and 12. So we hope that you will consider signing up for our DIY cloud light program so that you can make your own and take it home to enjoy. Each month this summer, the second Wednesday of each month, we are going to have a special open board game night. This is only for teens and adults, so there may be some board games that are uh, a little bit more challenging when it comes to learning the rules, but we wanna help you figure it out. Uh, bring your favorite game, uh, and you can play that with whoever else shows up, or you can use one of the games provided by us at the library. So this is a fun way to meet some new people, or you can bring your own favorite people to the library and enjoy it together with them. We will have a summer games done quick party at the main library in the auditorium on Saturday, July 2nd. So if you're not familiar with this, um, this will be a fun program for teens and adults. Uh, we will have a big screen projection of the SGDQ special event. So we'll be streaming that. Uh, SGDQ, of course, means summer games done quick. So you can watch this. It's a special charity event done for Doctors Without Borders. And it's high-level video gamers just blasting through some classic games and favorite games going as fast as possible. Um, so it's just a lot of fun to watch. And at the library, we will have some some games and some trivia and just some, some fun hangout activities if you join us for this special event. You can sign up to join us for a teen paint night. This is a sign up one because we wanna make sure we have enough materials for you and a special adult. So if you are a teen, you have a special adult in your life, you can join us for a book themed painting class. So it doesn't matter how skilled or not skilled you might be, you can follow some step-by-step -step instructions uh, from an artist and based on those instructions you can make your own uh, special literary art. This is on Monday, July 18th. Remember, you'll want to sign up ahead of time. So visit the library for help or find it online and register there. On Tuesday, July 26th, there is a teen swordsmanship class. Yes, swordsmanship. So if you have been hoping to learn about swordsmanship, this is your chance. So you will learn at this class from Jerry Berg. He is at the, he's from the Swordsmanship Museum and Academy, and he will be teaching guards, cuts, and concepts of medieval sword fighting. So you'll be, you'll be able to use and try the medieval long sword. And there will be some, some sparring practice afterwards, very guided, uh, so no one will get hurt. 
but uh, this is one we want you to register ahead of time for to make sure that we're ready for you. So check online for that or visit the library and we'll help you get set up. A while ago, we had a special take and make program where you could make your own little miniature library using a little tin canister and some cardboard books. And it was very, very cool. And it was such a hit, we wanted to do it again this summer. So you can sign up to get a special take and make kit. You can bring that home, make your own library. And uh, you'll wanna register ahead of time so we know that you're coming to pick your kit up and you can pick it up at the North Branch or at the main library between August 15th and 20th. So sign up to make a DIY mini library. We have programs and events happening all throughout the summer at Herrick District Library. So be sure that you stop in, say hello to us, and find out what might be happening on that day. We also will have program flyers available at each location. And if you're watching this from a school, we might have some already sent to you or on their way to you. Uh, so you can uh, hopefully find all of the answers that you're looking for and lots of fun ways to celebrate with us this summer.